guys, it's Ralph with Stray Venzas. Today I've got a topic for you for diesel owners, W126, the 300 SDA, the uh, old uh, OM603 engine, but uh, it's also um, applicable to the uh, OM617 uh, and some of the other old engines that have these uh, in fuel injectors, the diesel injectors. And this is regarding the uh, pre-injection chamber, the pre-ignition chamber that sometimes needs to be exchanged. And later in the video, I'm going to show you in detail of what to look for with those. Deep down in there, there is a small little ball that you need to look at. You also need to look at if your uh, pre-combustion chamber is all coked up, uh, especially with veggie oil applications. Uh, if not done uh, correctly, they can look pretty ugly and lead to all kinds of ignition and smoking issues and stuff like that. So here's what you need. You need first of all to remove the injector. And what I need for that one is a 27 millimeter deep socket wrench with a half inch drive. Before you can get that, you need a 14 millimeter wrench for the injection line to loosen that one up. And we go and take a look what that looks like. So, what else do you need? Like I said, here, that's the 14 millimeter with which you loosen up the fuel injection lines. You do need to remove the injection or the air um, duct up here. For that, you need a uh, five millimeter uh, end head a socket that you will be able to then um, uh, loosen up these two screws this whole assembly comes off after loosening this one you pull this out I su strongly suggest you get the two o-rings replace those while you're here and as a gasket here if you don't replace that that might look ugly and then you take off the uh, fuel injector clips so you can move and jiggle these around so you can get to to the uh, fuel injectors you get you remove the hoses the return hoses that is and then you can finally go ahead and put the uh, deep socket uh, uh, socket the deep socket uh, 27 millimeter deep socket down in there loosen the oil injector the the fuel injector up and then uh, take that one out and then you can actually gain access to the um, pre, pre ignition chamber, and for that, I'm going to go and look a little bit deeper of what that looks like on the engine. Here, I'm zoomed in at the fuel injector that's still installed on this one. After your removal, there is a uh, lock nut that has a big slot in it, and that is the one that you need to loosen up. How do you loosen that up? That gets tricky and you need another tool and I'll show you what that is because without it you won't be able to get that out. As I said before, this is the special tool. This one was made by Mercedes Source. There may be others that you can get on eBay or online, but in essence what you need is this particular tool that is shaped like the top of the nut with the two slots for the pre-ignition chamber. And what this tool helps you is um you you insert it you actually hold on to the the bottom of the the uh the injection chamber but first in this first instance of this tool what this will help you do is it pushes the this part here into the slot and with this lock nut here when you when you hold this firm you can use this hex head not to finally loosen up that nut because otherwise you will slip out of that slot and really mess up the nut and you will not be able to get the pre-ignition chamber out before you start with removing the preload chamber because the next step after you've loosened up that nut you take the this tool back out then the then, uh, lock nut for the preload chamber pre-ignition chamber and then you take this thread that threads down deep down into the pre-ignition chamber and with that 
you get a slide hammer that you uh, screw onto here and you literally pull the, uh, the pre-ignition chamber out of the head. Not, absolutely not, before you take out the glow plug. You have to take the glow plug out because people have done it and, and messed up uh, and bent the living daylights and, and gouged the uh, pre-ignition chamber up and maybe even the head. So you have to remove the uh, glow plug first. For that you need a 10 millimeter socket, um, then another wrench to go ahead and take that out. And you know, that's it. The installation goes somewhat the same. In reverse, you literally pound in the, the um, pre-ignition chamber using that very same tool you set it down in it, it only goes in one way. Um, make sure that there is a seal around the, the, the shoulder of the pre-ignition chamber. The new one is, is free of def defects and other kind of things, other kind of debris. And then you lock this tool back into place. Screw this in. Tighten this nut up to make sure that this slot these two uh, drive tabs here are in the slot of the nut from the pre-injection chamber, pre-ignition chamber, sorry. And then you can use this wrench to really put this in tight. Because if, if you don't, if there's a seal, if the seal under the seat of the chamber is, is bad, you're going to have a loss of compression and you don't want that either. And now I can show you a couple of things how the a good bed or in a different uh, pre-ignition chamber looks like. As promised, here are the following steps to follow in order to get the chamber in and out uh, and correctly installed. First, you have got to remove the glow plug. Once you have removed that one, you reinsert the uh, tool that I showed you in, uh, in the video. This is what that looks like. Uh, first, you get the lock nut out, the retaining nut out with the two slots, and then you insert the uh, disassembly tool and reassembly tool. Here, you need to now use a slide hammer attached to the upper thread. Slide hammers, you can get either in, the, in, in the shop, eBay or anything. This is what the old chamber looks like. It's so coked up, you, know, you can't even see that little uh, ball in there. The uh, next picture is gonna show the old versus new. And this is where the glow plug usually would go. And uh, yeah, and here now a comparison. On the right side, you will see the new chamber with the little ball that I, uh, that is like firmly rigidly installed there. On the left one is the old and used one. On the old ones, they tend to disintegrate, they wear, and then the spray pattern is disturbed and the combustion isn't really all that clean. The engine doesn't run as well, and in the worst case scenario, you lose that ball and the direct injection uh, goes um, straight down into the cylinder and can wreak havoc. You use the same contraption this jig to install the chambers. Once you have uh, inserted them, you put the lock nut back into place and that gets torqued up using the same jig again and make absolutely sure it's <laughs> very tight in there. Otherwise you will have leakage and that's certainly not good. The next uh, picture is gonna show a quick uh, uh, close up of the, the uh, chamber. On top of it goes the heat shield of the injector. Make sure the concave part goes over top, uh, towards the bottom, towards the engine. And make sure that that is very tight, that the injector is tightened up, and then reconnect your injection lines. And that should be it. Hey, thank you for watching another episode of Stray Benzes. Hope to make uh, quite a few more of these send me a couple of suggestions, hit the like button, follow us, and let's see what happens. Happy ranching and enjoy your classic and keep the classics on the road.